Hello, my name is Lindsay Klein, North American Training Manager here at Robotel, and today I'd like to show you how you can successfully administer your AP exams using our Smart Class Plus Robotel Language Lab in a digital environment. On the teacher's desktop, there are two icons, one labeled the MAD, M-A-D, and the other one labeled the LAD, the L-A-D, which is your Live Activities Dashboard. In order to administer the test, you will be working with the LAD, the Live Activities Dashboard. When it opens, choose the third choice. Yes, I want students to log in for an AP test. Log in using username proctor, password proctor, all lowercase. When the software opens, you can Close the message as the software is trying to connect with student stations on the right. Now on your dashboard, on the right hand side, you need to select a class that you are working with. If the classes have not yet been set up for you by the tech department or administration, you can easily do this right now. Hit the Create or Manage Classes button and another screen will pop up either behind or on your second screen and it actually is opening up the MAD, the Media Activity Dashboard. In the screen that shows up you will have a Create New Course at the top and then go ahead in that blank and create your course name. Go ahead and hit Create. Now you should see the new created course and above the course name you will see the option to create a new class. So once you hit create, so if that was not done for you, those instructions should be easy to follow. Now you may select the class that you want to work with, so just click on that, launch that class once you've clicked on it, and now you have the option to populate the class. As of now there should be no students names in the class because they are going to be working with their AP number for the test. So click on the populate class button. Now this is when the students will jump in and this is the only thing that they're going to end up touching the entire time they're taking the test. The proctor will be in charge of hitting start, hitting record, hitting play, hitting all of those things. This is the only time the students will touch the system. The student will now have to enter their username and password which is simply their AP testing number they would enter that same exact number for the password as well. You can see the students are present in your class box on the right. You will see the AP and then the test number and it will say the word present. If they are in a wired lab, if they aren't in a wired lab, they will have to go and select the application, the LAD application. On the right hand side you'll see the courses that you can select and select the test you will do and then hit populate class in order to add the students to the class. Now on my screen is a join class code so again for those of you that have a Wi-Fi environment this code is very important. So I'll show you what it will look like if we have a student screen. So when the students pull up, they'll pick the top option. If they're in a Wi-Fi setting, they'll join the new class at the bottom. If not, they'll just log into a class. So they'll enter the class code that was on the screen of the teacher. If they're in a fixed lab, they will just go ahead and enter their username and password, AP number, the repeat AP number, exact same. Students will hit log in and they'll know that they're in because up at the top they will see their AP number and then the only other thing that kids can do at this point is call teacher. If they have a question they can raise their hand um, by hitting that button. So in the middle you'll see number of new stations. That's the important number you want to take take note of. The other way is by looking over on the right hand side you'll see all of their numbers and the word present right after it. And go ahead and start the AP test once all of those students are in there and simply pick which activity you want to do. Now what pops up is a little prompt with two options and you can always return to the menu by clicking on the change activity button 
up here on the top. Two activities for the AP test. So are you doing the listening or writing? Or are you doing the speaking activity? Since we'll work with the, the first button, which is the listening or writing, go ahead and click on that. So with the listening or writing activity, in the right-hand side, you're given your activity options, the different buttons that you can use as the proctor. The first button is teacher audio, which allows you to speak with all of your students. The other button is to control the CD player. If you are using a CD, you will use these buttons to play the instructions and the test. However, if your instructions are given through MP3 or MP4 format, you will only use the teacher audio button. Really important when you hit that teacher audio button, you can speak with the students, but they also will be able to hear if you pull up your MP3 or MP4 and you hit play on that. So a great little tip is up in the right hand corner, there is a teacher mic button and you can have your mic muted so that when the instructions are playing, you don't have to worry about accidentally interrupting with your voice. Once you click on the control CD player button, you will see other buttons appear below. The blue play button is pretty obvious. The pause button is very necessary. If you're having instructions being given and it asks you to pause, stop button is the square button. And then you also have the ability to go to the next track or play with the previous track with those arrows. It's really important that the proctor checks that everyone can hear the CD. Tell the students that if they're not able to hear the audio track being played to please raise their hand. Then at that time you can go ahead and troubleshoot in case the headphones aren't plugged all the way in or the volume is way too low for the student. So go up top to your change activity button. We're going to go to the next option which is speaking. We already talked about the teacher audio button. However, do not forget you can mute your voice or your microphone if you're playing from an mp3 or mp4 and not using a CD. The last button, however, is the most important button that goes along with speaking. It opens the recorders on each student station. Every student station connected to the LAD dashboard will turn into a recording device. It is extremely important to try this once with students by recording only their AP number and then play this back to them. So go ahead and start the recorder. And you want to have each student say, my AP number is then you'll hit stop and you'll hit that blue play button in order for the students to listen to make sure that their voices were actually recorded. When you hear in the instructions of the AP test to start recording or push the recording button, this is when you would push that red recording button and when it is time to stop recording then you would hit the square stop button. At this time, when you're done with all the recordings, you hit that save recordings button. After you hit the Save Recording button, you need to wait for the message to close on its own. When the message closes, the panel shown below will open on your control screen. And this is simply to have you verify or export those AP test recordings and to let you know that you can review those recordings saved right now in the MAD, the Media Activity Dashboard. Once the recordings have saved, your MAD should open up. So go ahead and double click on the timestamp of the AP test you wish to listen to. And way up at the top right, the button select student needs to be pressed in order for you to go in and you can double check that there is a white dot next to the student's names saying that the recording is there. Click on each student and hit the play button in order to make sure that each student does indeed have a sound file saved. Now in the top left corner, you have the Export Recordings button. The easiest option that pops up would be the third option, where you can export all the files at one time. Make sure you pay attention to where these files will be saved. Should be saved in the C drive with our Smart Class Export folder and then go into your folder and make sure that you actually do see them save there in the export files. 
make sure you, that you have read the specific AP instructions so you know how to name the, these files once they are saved. Thank you for watching this video. All of your questions could be answered on our community website, smartclasscommunity.robotel.com. Before administering the exam, we highly recommend that you try this process in your language lab. Take care.